Hello everyone, some really exciting news. The Dodonpachi trainer for the Mr. version 1.0 is now available for public release. It was just completed last night. So for those who remember back in my Dodonpachi Mr. review, I commented that it would be really cool if they made some kind of stage select for the Mr. version. And answering that call was Greg O in the comments. He has experience working with the Mr and overall is a really awesome helpful dude and so we commissioned it we made it happen and here it is I'm really excited because this type of thing is fairly rare in the world of shmups these types of projects so I was really excited to get it out and to try it out of course because I am a big fan of the mister and I do enjoy playing it but being locked into just playing the arcade PCB style where you have to you know credit feed through the stages especially in a game with loops that becomes a real tedium and while I will never deny that this does not compete with something like software emulation with save states and fast forward and all that good stuff, it is still head and shoulders much better than what we had previously where we were just locked into the PCB, at least on the Mr. So my thoughts on this is that if you are really wanting to get down and learn the nitty gritty of the game and the stage and the chaining and all that, there's no replacing save states for that kind of precise practice. And I will be doing safe state practice for the Kumite coming up. However, this is a nice middle ground for if you're wanting to practice on the Mr. specifically and you want to try out the stages, at least a kind of a halfway measure between full safe state support and having nothing at all. I think this is a really cool in between. And so let's get started explaining what the features are. So see this first row here, level. So level 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The thing to keep in mind is that level 0 is level 1, level 1 is level 2, you see how that goes. So when you go to 6, that is actually Hibachi and Bigby. So if you're in loop 0 or loop 1, that will just take you to the next loop. There's no Hibachi or Bigby there. But when you're in loop 2, that's where you fight Hibachi and Bigby. That's a really nice distinction. So they have their own stage. That's a huge jump. And then we have the loop factor here. So loop zero is the first loop and then you change it to one. That's the second loop, of course. This is kind of like coding language. This is a big deal for people who want to practice the second loop, but don't want to completely go through the first loop over and over and over in itself. So a very cool feature, of course. Kill B. This is really nice. So if you want to practice Hibachi, what you can do is you go to level six, loop one, and then turn kill B to one. And that will automatically take you to Hibachi rather than having to fight the Big B. Very cool here. Shot. This is just your shot power level. So depending on what stage you're practicing or if you want to practice depowered or that sort of thing, you can change your shot power level. The bomb level. So these are the number of bombs, 0 through 6, just like you would experience in the game. Very useful for stage selecting and bomb routing and all that sort of thing. Max bonus. So this is what level of max bonus you have in the game. So for those who do not know, max bonus is whenever you're playing and you collect extra bombs, you create what's called the max. And the more bombs you collect, the more powerful your max becomes and the more points you accumulate within the stages by just doing nothing except flying around and not bombing. So it's a really cool scoring mechanic. Brutal because you can lose it if you die or if you bomb, but still very effective. So if you want to adjust that, there's the max bonus. F is 15, 0 is none, and you can kind of, it's like a, Grega, right where the numbers become letters max rank I'm not entirely sure what this does I've been setting it to one just in case though because Dodonpachi has some kind of strange rank system but it's not like Grega or something like that or DOJ where the rank really has some kind of big effect I honestly don't know what the rank does other than changes a little bit of the behavior but I guess play around with that have it on zero have it on one I've been setting it to on one but basically, what you do with the trainer, it's really simple. You just pick the parameters you want, then you go down, hit exit, and then you'll be into this stage. Unfortunately, the way the game is coded, as I understand, directly jumping from this menu into this stage is a little bit complicated and require a lot more work and a lot more time than was available, at least for this first version, right? So the way it works is you select your stage, you hit exit, and that'll take you to the ship selection. You select your ship, from there, it'll take you to a loading screen for the first stage, and then you'll automatically transport from the first stage into the desired stage. Obviously, that time between selecting your stage and 
you know, loading into the desired stage is a little bit unfortunate. However, there can be some workarounds in the future, of course, if uh, this is returned to or if more work is done upon it. And also, if Null Object incorporates a fast forward button, kind of like you have fast forward in software emulation where you can force the emulator to run at like a thousand frames per second or something. I don't know what the mister can do as far as fast forward. I know it is in some cores like the GBA core. But if you're able to fast forward from there into the stage, that would be really nice. Just in general and also really nice for this trainer. Another nifty feature that is pretty cool is the ability to manually scroll through the level as you can see here. So that if you want to get to the boss right away, if you want to get to a certain section of the stage right away, you can kind of scroll up to it. You'll have to give yourself a little bit of space to bomb and clear the way as you can see here. But it's really useful and effective for boss practice and all that sort of stuff. So the way you activate it is you press the player two start button and then you hold the rapid fire button, button three on the player one side, then you press up or down and that will scroll you up or down the level. So it's a nice little feature getting you to where you wanna be. So that's basically it, that's how it works. There's a little bit of bugs here and there I am sure we'll come across. One that was kind of interesting is that you see the health bars have these little ticks on them on the bosses. I was checking, that isn't the trainer, that's something with the new updated core that uh, was released. The nice thing is the updated core now supports uh, scan doubling so you can play it on VGA monitors, which I appreciate. I'm wondering if that was some kind of graphical artifact from that, but I'm sure Null Object will get it straightened out when he gets the chance. But yes, I think this is gonna be a really cool thing for people. And also, I like the concept because it introduces the idea of playing these games competitively to people who probably wouldn't do so otherwise, like people who are enthusiasts of the Mister. They play Dodonpachi on it and they say, wow, there's this trainer on here. People do take these games seriously. This game is important. Another nice update since the Mister review is the service menu has been implemented into the core. Uh, shout out to Null Object for doing that. So you can go in there and now activate your auto fire on the Japanese ROM. No need to play on the international ROM anymore. You also can go in there and play around with the settings, which I really appreciate. So yeah, that's basically it. And before I close this out, I really want to thank the people who supported this project and donated it directly. So I'm going to put their names on screen and they're going to get their own special shout outs because it was really cool for people to jump in and help me raise the money for this, which was 500 bucks, I think definitely well worth it so let us turn to the board and shout everyone out individually so myself pledged two hundred dollars shmup junkie dropped the hundred brian 50 lewis 30 anthony 25 joshua 25 stefan 20 riggle 20 chris 20 and trace ten dollars you can see multiple people get together and work on this it's much simpler to make these things happen than one individual drop in 500 all at once so shout outs to the guys who helped support the project and make it happen i really do appreciate it and i think the dodom pachi players on the mister also really appreciate it so thanks so much and if you want to get your hands on this the link will be in the description and again shout outs to greg O for working on this project he was really awesome to work with and if you have your own mister projects that you want to happen you know i think he'll be a great resource to reach out to and so i'll leave the links to get in contact with him and everything in the video description as well adios